I saw the Lord Jesus standing before me. He was wearing brown shimmering clothes that ran down to his feet. His hair was dark and curly. His skin was tan. His eyes burn with everlasting flame of fire. Jesus said to me, It is time. Immediately, I saw the bodies of the saints of God in the sky. In a twinkling of an eye, I saw the Lord in the cloud. The saints of God were raptured with a rocket-like speed from the earth into the cloud. The saints of God were all in rapture and joy untold. Their noises filled the air, it pierced through the whole earth. They were shouting, Salvation belong belong unto the Lord our God. The saints of God vanished. Jesus said to me, The mark of the beast, Revelation 13 16. He also forced everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead, so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of his name. This calls for wisdom. If anyone has insight, let him calculate the number of the beast, for it is man's number. His number is 666. The horror of the tribulation then flooded the inhabitants of the earth, mercilessly. Demons unleashed terror upon humans. I saw a woman who was being forced to receive the mark of the beast. She refused. Demons rained several dagger cuts on her face. She was butchered like an animal. Her face was butchered severally, that clusters of blood spilled from her body. If you see the woman, you would not recognize her as a human being. The heavily weighted dagger struck this man's foot, severing his five fingers out. The demons were compelling him to accept the mark of the beast. When the man beheld the blood gushing out from his fingerless foot, he accepted the mark of the beast. I accept the mark of the beast, he cried in anguish. I saw a man of God well known in Nigeria. The Lord commanded me not to mention his name. He was forced to kneel down. Will you accept the mark of the beast? The demons asked menacingly. Yes, he answered without putting any resistance. Then a reddish rod was brought. It was pressed upon his forehead. The engraved mark 666 appeared. The body of another well-known recognized man of God in Nigeria, lay lifeless on the ground. He had been butchered severely, because of his refusal to accept the mark of the beast. A demon came and picked his butchered head, ate the brain from the skull. After refusing to accept the mark of the beast, this white man was daggered many times. The demons bundled him from the staircase down to the ground. He was not dead. He was still breathing through the contracting movement of the air that passed through his oesophagus. He was finally daggered again and again and again. The Lord Jesus then said to me, The tribulation is going to be really terrible. That is why I keep warning my people time without number. I take people to hell and to heaven, so that they can warn my people. Warn my people to see these things, so that they warn my people. Many are thinking that these messages are jokes. Well, let it be known to everyone that God is not a joker. Let him who has ears to hear, what Jesus is saying now. Be warned, rapture is knocking at your door.